Hi everyone, good soapy morning. I'm so sorry for the delay. What am I doing? I'm cutting soap here out of some thin soap slices and it was just too wasteful. So here you see two two inch PVC pipes in a box and I'm just making up the soap to pour. I have seen so many people make travel soaps of different types. Uh, you know, they do it on paper towel or dissolvable paper, various different ways. Well, I just wanted to do something that I could use, that I could take on trips to travel because I don't want to carry a big bar of soap, but I do want to carry my own handmade soap. And that's where this idea came from. I wanted something I could carry in a small tin, uh, to, with me in my suitcase. Anyway, my diamond anniversary soap. It's still coming, but I decided to go ahead and complete the contest in this video so you don't have to wait. With me being sick and a lot of stuff going on at work, that soap, while it's completed, I haven't had a chance to cut it or do the video or anything. So I've got a ways to go on that. So what I'm showing you here is just how I'm making this soap. This is a very simple uh, orange exfoliating hand soap. And again, it's just for travel. This is not going to be made into big bars or anything. I'm pouring it into those thin pipes. Now, I was unable to actually film the pour into the pipes because, well, they're long. And my camera is on a tripod, but it doesn't go up high enough where I could get the pipe underneath. They're two foot pipes, so there was no way I could get them up there and pour without getting down on the floor. And I'm just not feeling all that great, so this is what you get. <laughs> and uh, I liked doing this, but I will tell you that when I first pulled this out of the mold, it looked like a large salami, or perhaps you could think of it as a pepperoni. That's what it looked like to me. And uh, luckily, once I cut it and it started to dry, <laughs> it looked more orange. But still, if you squint, it looks like pepperonis. But it works very well. But uh, I'm going to put on the screen the instructions real quick because I'm going to give you the final secret word which is ring r-i-n-g ring r-i-n-g just give a thumbs up leave a comment without the secret words please and then email me the secret words doesn't that look like a sausage <laughs> it really did to me So I'm cutting this very thin because I want three of these to be able to fit in a can. And then I'll be slicing those three slices in half. As you can see there, they fit in the can. And I wanted to make sure that I could get three full bars in there, if you want to call them bars. And uh, then I'm going to show you what I did. Is I just changed the setting on the cutter, cut them in half, and that way you get six little mini bars for travel. Isn't that great? Very simple. Fits in your pocket, purse. Fantastic. So now the prize. Yeah, this is the stuff I'm giving away. And I'm just sorry it looks so muted. Everything looks sort of the same color. I don't know what was up with the lighting. But that's the autumn soap that I made. It's got some nice pink uh, kale and clay in it. Gave some real nice swirls. The golden decadence. Boy, is this a moisture-rich soap. I use this one myself, and I'm in love with it. And just all of these I had so much fun making. This is the Pipe Dream soap and I made this with my own custom mold. It's a big old bar of soap too. And uh, all of these are made with natural ingredients and many of them are made with ingredients right here on the farm. My Purity Unscented Soap is just goat's milk and coconut milk soap. Very, very nice. Vanilla maple has a little bit of burnt butter in it and maple syrup and smells fantastic. And I really like the way the swirls came out. 
remind me of reminds me of fall leaves. The mega mega <laughs> moisture bar has a bit of lanolin in it, leaves a nice coating of moisture on your skin, helps it to retain moisture and actually attracts moisture to your skin. Handsome. It's all in there. It's just a sort of an ombre soap. I had a lot of fun with this one. This is the neem. Uh, neem and lime. And this is for those with oily skin. Not real showy to look at, but great for removing excess oil. Soapstone. This was one where I had a lot of fun using herbs and spices to create some fun color. Had a lot of fun with that one. These are kind of rough, hand hewn, but I like that. The hemp hearts, and uh, it's all in the name. <laughs> I have videos on the making of most of these soaps, so you can see those here on YouTube if you haven't already seen them. These are over pours from various soaps that I make. When I have a little extra, I'll pour it into another mold. I'm sure many other soapers do this as well. So I end up with a lot of these. <laughs> so you're going to get three of those as well. And these are from the recent wholesale account that I made where I made the lavender soap. Had a little extra and poured into my goat milk soaps since, or goat milk soap molds since these are goat milk and you'll be getting three of those as well and then a jar of sap it may be this one it may be a different one but you will be getting one of these as well and i'm also going to be getting out the valentine hearts that everyone won i'm sorry for the delay big hugs everyone have a great day goodbye